Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review, and here are the Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man J. Jonah Jameson, um, and yeah, let's go over the box here. So, first you get that Retro Spider-Man logo, which we've seen before, we get that Marvel Comics logo there, we get that billboard of JJ over there, it's pretty cool, and then you got the figure right here, nothing on the side, top or bottom, uh, here's the back, if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And you got that same logo there. You get that same billboard of JJ there. And here's the UCPI for you. But besides that, let's crack him open. And here he is out of the packaging here. So let's go over his accessories first. So first, he comes with this little newspaper here. Sorry. Uh, you get that Daily Bugle, Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Sham. And what's really cool about this, they actually use the retro Spider-Man figure for this picture. So that looks really cool. I feel like that background is from the Spider-Man game. I can't tell. It kind of looks like it. And yeah, you get Cat bur Burglar in there. I'm not going to read all that, but if you guys want to pause and read it, you can. Get that Mis Mysterio back behind bars. You get that back here. You got that uh, Spider-Borg sighting. You get the Electro Speaks. And yeah, and I thought this was gonna be actual plastic, but it's not, it's actually, it's like paper. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hold, make him hold it or not. I guess we'll see, but yeah, there's that. Um, then you get one fist hand here. That's pretty cool. You got one like grabbing hand and you got one pointing hand and you get another uh, grabbing hand there and you get this like little rolled up version of the newspaper here with the painting of the daily bugle there and yeah it's, we've seen this before from the MJ figure so yeah there's that and then here's JJ up close so you get that little face that face where he's like look like he's about to scream I'm not sure if this is the same head sculpt from the uh, chameleon uh, hammerhead or not I have them but I just they're upstairs in my room I'm kind of rearranging my basement and stuff like that right now so um, and then he's wearing this like little vest here it's nice and brown uh, light brown here and you get that dark brown in the back there so that's cool you get the rolled up sleeves you get the nice buttons there I wish they painted them though you get this nice red and black striped tie you get that white shirt it's pretty cool. And then uh, we get these pants, they're gray, and you get the uh, brown belt with the gold buckle there. And you get these brown shoes. I don't really like the civilian figures really that much because they're so hard to pose, like have them stand up. Like right now I'm having trouble with that. I don't, it's mainly because of the shoes though. Because there's, I'll go over the articulation here in a second, though, but yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. Um, but besides that, let's go over his articulation here. It says head can move down that far, up that far. You can look left and right. Uh, he has some head pivoting. His shoulders can move out. Let's see if I can move my, there it is. Oh, shoot, okay. His shoulders can move out past 90 degrees. You get 360 rotation around there. Uh, you got bicep swivel here, single jointed elbows, so almost 90 degrees, but not quite. And you get a little bit of rotation in there, but not a whole bunch. His wrist here can hinge down that far, up that far. And his pointing hand is side to side, so it goes down that far and up that far. So that's cool. And you get 360 rotation on both hands. Uh, and then he has an ab crunch, so you can go forward that much backwards just a little bit mainly because the vest gets in the way you got waist swivel so 360 rotation around there his legs could kick out that far forward actually quite a bit uh backwards like zero he has a thigh cut you got double jointed knees there and then the ankles i'm not a huge fan of mainly because the shoes aren't really 
wide, so it's kind of hard to pose them anyways. So his ankles can move down that far up just a little bit, and you get some ankle pivot there. And yeah, I think he's a pretty cool figure. I just wish they figured out some way to get him to stand up without him falling nonstop. But I like the idea of the newspaper. What I'm doing for him to be able to hold it, really, is having him hold the rolled up newspaper and kind of wedge it between his fingers and the newspaper there. So that's what I'm doing. So that way it kind of looks like he's trying to sell the paper, kind of. Um, but yeah, I think it's a pretty cool figure. Um, I'm glad I got this instead of having to buy like another two hammerhead figures just to make a JJ um, figure for a separate one. So I'm happy I got this. And so that's one less hammerhead chameleon figure that I have to get. So now I just need one more. Um, but yeah, I think it, I just really wish they'd figure out some way to fix their feet so that way it's easy for me to pose them up. But besides that, that's all I've got.